Managing the lifecycle of identities is one of the core functionalities of identity management solutions. Identity is the technical term for all kinds of employees, contractors, business partners and other persons that require access. Most people have exactly one single identity but multiple accounts in the company's systems. To illustrate the difference between an identity and an account, think of a person having one birth certificate or social insurance number but many accounts to Amazon, Facebook and maybe even several mail accounts. Just in an enterprise environment, the systems we use typically differ from those we use in our private life. Traditionally, the identity lifecycle knows the joiner, mover and lever scenario. That means a person is employed, is promoted or moves to another organizational unit and leaves the company. However, in times of collaboration, interlinked supply chains and outsourcing, there are far more scenarios that need to be covered, such as the transition from contractor to employee, multi-affiliation with multiple employments for the same person or a rehiring of a person that has previously left the company. Of course, this needs to be accomplished complying with standards and regulations, such as the European General Data Protection Regulation, short GDPR, or binding and industry-specific retention periods. Luckily, most of the complexity and options are handled automatically by Omada Identity and your actual tasks are easy. Let's start with the creation of a personal record in the HR system. The Human Resources Department will create this record for each employed person. Of course, this is a demo environment and the actual task in your organization will be performed in a system like Workday, SuccessFactors or SAP HCM. The Identity Management System periodically imports all personal records as identities into the Identity Management Solution. As a manager, you are notified about the new employee via email and can access the related work item using the link included in the mail. You will as well find the work item on your Omada Identity landing page. You can check the details of the employed employee where you find your personal information in the top and access related information in the bottom. Please note that there may be rule-based access in place that creates the typical access for your employee based on attributes like his job title or organizational unit. If the new employee needs additional access, you can request individual access and confirm the onboarding by clicking the Submit button. When the initial account of your employee is confirmed to be created, you will be notified and receive a password mail. Please note that this mail is confidential and you're not supposed to use the information for any other than handing it over to the owner of the password. Due to the sensitivity of the contained information, password mails sent by Omada Identity will not be locked. Depending on the specific configuration of Omada Identity, the onboarding process of your organization can run differently. As a sample, it's possible that you are required to enter additional information during onboarding or that the password is handed over to your employee by the IT help desk. However, you will be guided through your tasks within Omada Identity. With the onboarding of new employees, the most important activity to enable your workforce has been accomplished. If you like to learn more about the other use cases like requesting access or recertification, you will find many other videos that can be helpful for you. With Omada, you do more with identity.